What is up guys and welcome to the South Coast. Today's video, we're getting a stock tank ready to get turned into a pool. Y'all stay tuned. All right guys, so we got this stock tank. We got it from our local farm supply store here around the corner um this is the last one they had and he said it got caught in a storm and got a little bent up you can see it's not perfectly round but it will do for our purposes i think once we get it full of water it'll be fine but today we're going to get it cleaned up and start painting it and getting it ready to get turned into a pool so first things first we're going to rinse it out and uh get it all cleaned up All right guys, so got just a quick hose down with some regular plain water and scrubbed it down one time. We're gonna get this rinsed out and then come back and hit it with some cleaning vinegar. Get it scrubbed one more time and probably rinse out a couple more times. Uh, this tank had some water sitting in it um, at the farm store. So I think some of the minerals that were in the rain water that were sitting in here sort of calcified and left some residue so trying to get that off now so we can have a nice clean surface to adhere our paint to so next step rinse it out hit it with some vinegar scrub it again all right guys the vinegar i'm using it's just a, a cleaning vinegar this one has a mandarin orange scent i don't know if that matters tried to find one unscented just so it'd be straight up uh cleaning vinegar but i was not able to find one uh where i was looking so I just got in a spray bottle. We're gonna spritz this dude down, give it another scrubbing and another rinsing. So let's go. Cleaning vinegar, round two. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, guys. Well, we got the stock tank cleaned out, sanded, vacuumed out. About to hit it with some acetone, and then we should be good to go on the paint. Uh, the paint I'm using is a two-part epoxy. I'll show that to you here in a minute. It calls out a specific primer to put on for galvanized metal applications, which this is. I don't have that primer. Um, I'm just going to gamble with what I got as is, see how it turns out. Um, I was lucky enough to get this paint for zero dollars from my stepdad. Appreciate that. Um, he runs a pool maintenance company down here on the south coast. And uh, they used to recoat pools, but sort of got away from doing that and had some paint left over. But I will, I'll find a similar paint and link it down in the description as well as all the cleaners and everything that I'm using to get this job done. So next step, we're going to get PPE'd up and then start wiping it down with some acetone and getting ready for some paint. All right guys, so the paint that I'm using is this, it's made by Kelly Technical Coatings. It's uh, Olympic Xeron, I believe it's called. I believe it's how it's pronounced, Xeron uh, pool paint. It's specific for swimming pools. It's a two part epoxy, so you have your paint and then your catalyst. Uh, basically this is a, in a tinted epoxy resin of sorts. And then you have your catalyst. You mix it in at the right ratio per the directions and then you paint it on and so once you get it mixed you only have a limited amount of time to get it put on your stock tank so you need to be ready for it once you mix it you need to be ready to start rolling um, before you even mix it so have all your rollers have your paint buckets brushes whatever you're going to use have the surface already prepped ready to go before you mix this stuff because it will harden on you and you will end up wasting it if you're not ready to paint. Also, only mix up what you are going to paint within that cure window. So obviously you don't need, I don't think we're gonna need an entire gallon to do the stock tank. Um, it says it's a one coat application. We're gonna see how that works. We may have to do two, but I'm only gonna mix up enough to do one coat at a time. We're not gonna try to mix this whole gallon and try to get it put on there all at once so we'll just mix up a bit i'm really not sure how much i'm going to start with but we'll start with some nominal amount and go from there so let's get this paint mixed up and get it going on the stock
All right, guys. Well, we got one coat on the stock tank, one coat of paint. Looks like I'm going to have to do another coat. So we'll catch you right back here in a second for that second coat. All right, we are back. It is the next morning. Been uh, not quite 12 hours, but it's looking good. There's definitely some bugs gotten into the paint. Let's see if I can pick those out. Let's see if we can get our second coat. All right guys, well that is the second coat of paint on the stock tank. We're gonna let this set up, come back and check on it in a bit. Y'all stay tuned. All right guys, well it has been another couple of hours since we got the second coat of paint on the stock tank. It is looking, it's looking really good for what it is. Like I said, not a professional painter myself, but we got this done. It's actually time for me to hop on the old bad boy and uh, go get to some grass cutting. Most of my subscribers are subscribers because of my grass cutting, the bad boy mower, all that sort of stuff. So if you like that sort of thing, hit that subscribe button, see some grass mowing in the future. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get this. Uh, tank sort of moved out of the way. I may just have to stand it up, not real sure, so I can get the mower out, but that's going to wrap this video up. I appreciate y'all watching. Click that subscribe button if you want to see how the stock tank pool comes together. Uh, probably be another one or two videos maybe on getting it all set up and going. So click that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you did a similar process or if you did something different. It's cool to learn what other people are doing on these projects. Let me know if this video has helped you. And like always, I hope y'all have a good one. We'll catch you next time down here on the South Coast.